Welcome back to part two of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of VB. And I have so far taken myself and um, used Threshold to turn me into a bit of a stencil, um, put myself on a background and I've just cut and paste um, a drawing of a butterfly I did um, into the picture. I'm now gonna duplicate the layer so that I have another butterfly and drag that to somewhere else on the picture. I can turn that. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And crucially, in VB's work, all the butterflies are different colors. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and we can slide the hue bar and get a different color. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat the process, duplicate that image, drag it somewhere else, and spin it and resize it if I want to. And then same again, image, adjustments, hue, saturation, and slide the hue till you get um, a color that you want. Uh, you can also up the saturation to make it a bit more bright. Same again, image adjustments, and um, this time it's probably worth learning the, um, once you've placed it, that you can press Control and U, and that brings up the hue saturation. So in this instance, it's gonna make it a lot quicker if you remember the shortcut Control and U, and you can keep repeating that until you're happy with the amount of butterflies you've got in your image. Um, now, the last thing I want to do is think about that colour that you see um, in the lips and sometimes in other places in VB's work. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to create myself a new layer and then I'm going to use the polygonal masking tool to mask off my lips. And once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to go over to the colour and choose an appropriate colour, in this case a light pink. Click OK. Go to my paint bucket and fill that area with the pink. Now, Obviously at the moment the layer's on top, so we want to drag that down to underneath the portrait so it's in the right place. And that is the end of this tutorial. And once you have finished adding all of the different butterflies, you should be left with a piece of work that looks a little bit like this. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.